my name is Max Fedemski. I'm the Place Initiative Coordinator for Pacoima Beautiful. Um, Pacoima Beautiful is an environmental justice nonprofit um, located in the neighborhood of Pacoima, which is in the city of Los Angeles in the Northeast San Fernando Valley. Um, and our work is, uh, we're an environmental justice organization. Um, so uh, we, we try to sort of, um, you know, work to bring, you know, a better, cleaner, more sustainable environment to Pacoima. Um, Pacoima has a lot of uh, environmental impacts. Um, we have uh, three freeways on either, si on either side of the neighborhood, the 118, the 5, and the 210. Um, we have a small commercial airport in the neighborhood, Whiteman Field. Um, we have industrial uses that sort of intersperse with residential um, uses and you have diesel trucks going through the neighborhood to serve them and then you also have all the pollution from that. So there's a lot of um, issues in this neighborhood. Um, and traditionally our role has been sort of to, um, you know, try to mitigate the existing impacts. Um, but the place grant, you know, that has kind of allowed us to, um, instead of just reacting to the bad things, bring good things into the neighborhood. Um, so, uh, our project that we've been doing for the Place Grant is, uh, we call it the Pacoima Wash Initiative. Um, this is the Pacoima Wash. It's a, uh, channelized, um, river that's a tributary of the L.A. River. Um, and what we're doing is we're looking at a four-mile segment of this, um, and we're trying, and we're creating a vision plan to show how the wash can be, um, converted from just sort of like a utilitarian flood control channel into a new recreational amenity. So um, putting bike and pedestrian lanes along the wash, um, also landscaping, identifying lots um, next to the wash, like vacant and blighted lots where, uh, where new parks can go, and, and essentially creating this linear park that will cut through the neighborhood. Um, and this uh, project has a lot of benefits. Um, it will, this, Pacoima is one of the most park poor neighborhoods, um, in the city of Los Angeles. There's only about 54 acres of parks to serve 100,000 people. Um, and, you know, that, having sort of, not having enough access to recreational space has, um, been shown to sort of contribute to obesity because people aren't allowed to get enough physical activity. Um, and we also have a lot of health impacts in the neighborhood. Um, you know, high rate of obesity, high rate of asthma. So the, um, by turning this into a park, um, you know, you sort of uh, bring bring a lot more recreational space in the community, and and this is also sort of repurposing this uh, this piece of infrastructure that you know is now sort of blight, and the neighborhood has turned its back on it, and turning it into this you know really nice place. Um, the other big benefit is um, you know Pacoima is a primarily transit dependent community. Um, but as it is now, it's, it's not very walkable. As I said before, there's, we have three freeways that sort of cut the neighborhood into, you know, quarters. We also have a Metrolink railroad track, so track that cuts through the neighborhood. Um, and the wash itself is actually a barrier. This bridge that we're on is one of the only pedestrian crossings for probably a mile. Um, so by creating um, a greenway along the wash, it not only becomes a new recreational amenity, but actually becomes a new way to circulate through the neighborhood and people will have this safe, um, pleasant place to walk to, you know, go to the bus or go to school or go to their jobs or visit their neighbors. Um, so the main uh, deliverables of our project is um, our vision plan document. Um, we've had over 20 community meetings throughout the neighborhood that have sort of ranged from small focus groups with different neighborhood organizations to um, really large sort of design workshops where we actually have people like walking along the wash and um, using sort of maps to mark what they'd like to see and um, we've incorporated all that input into the vision plan um, which will hopefully be incorporated into the which will be incorporated into the Silmar community plan document that um, should be passed within the next year and will eventually be incorporated into the Pacoima community plan document which will happen uh, probably um, you know, in the next couple of years. Um, and then the other part of our project is uh, our physical project. And maybe we should cut now and then we can talk about the physical.